I hope you enjoyed my rotating Eurorex tool. Hi, this is Andrew Kudravtis Pinkin, and welcome back to a presentation of another product that I designed specifically and purposely for Raspberry Pi users. Being one of us, I've been struggling for years not being able to integrate Raspberry Pi with my modular chassis. And so today I'm presenting you the bits and pieces that help you to do that yourself. This is DIY kit. What you currently see, it's the assembled unit that I'm not selling. I'm just selling you the bits. And uh, with the standard off-the-shelf parts, you can make it beautiful like I did. So first of all, it comes with a faceplate. This is 26 HP faceplate, uh, which has the hole for the five inch capacitive touch screen LCD. There is a particular model that you need to follow, well, particular design is based on the LCD connected with the DSI interface that goes straight with the flex cable to the Raspberry Pi. So no HDMI port used for that purpose. The second one, it has the two ports of the USB. Well, that's just the cuts for the extension cables, standard cables you buy from Amazon, from eBay, and connect to the uh, Raspberry Pi, it's angle cables. And the last one, it has uh, four holes for the uh, TRS 3.5 millimeter breakout board. This is a small board that you use to connect to any onboard equipment here that you may place. I'm offering you the board that's called Synth Kit, in addition to the faceplate, which manages the Eurorack power. So you can connect it to the Eurorack 5 volt or 12 volt power and having the onboard DC-DC converter well, converted to the five volts that uh, Raspberry Pi needs. It also has the audio output with the standard off-the-shelf Burr Brown uh, uh, deck. That's a small board you can buy on, again on Amazon, on, uh, on eBay, on AliExpress that solders on top of that board. And finally, it has a circuitry for the MIDI UART that's the simplest uh, implementation of the MIDI interface that goes straight to the GPIO interface of a Raspberry Pi. You can mix and match these components. Uh, the board comes pre-assembled. There's a minimum set of components needed, all the instructions provided. Uh, the board for the uh, well, uh, breakout board for the TRS is also small. Uh, it has nothing but just mounting for the TRS connectors. Finally, um, all of the documentation is available uh, online as well as the uh, assembly guide, how you can put the faceplate together. You can use it as a black faceplate, it's aluminum faceplate, or you can flip it and now it's fully, truly looking aluminum. Look, uh, it's your choice. It's designed to be fully symmetrical and it's a part of a hardware installation as well as installation guide for uh, software that's available online, that I'm supplying, how you can enable these components together with a Patchbox OS or with standard Raspberry, Raspberry OS. And so by doing that, you will get a full assembled unit and you will enjoy using it in a real modular chassis. Thanks, goodbye, see you later.